Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to make a review about the Swift Vario ND Mist Kit from Nisi. I'm going to show you sample photos using these filters. I'm going to talk about everything you need to know, showing you sample photos, how to use them and everything you need to know about this kit. Now from the beginning it's called Vario ND filter because it has one to five stop ND filters and at the same time it has a four stop ND filter. That means you have the possibility to use from one f-stop ND filter to nine f-stop ND filter and at the same time there's a black mist filter one fourth. So let me give you a small info from the beginning. This is a rent kit which means it is not going to be my filter. I'm going to try them to make a review about them to make sample photos to make a YouTube video and after that I have to send them back to Nisi. So as you can see this is the package that it comes in. This is the bag. Let's open it. Inside we have the first thing, the manual, the four stop and the filter. After that we have the filter cap. As you can see you can use it to cover the filter and you will not be afraid about scratching the filter. And this one here we have adapter ring and I'm going to talk about when are you going to need it and why it comes with the filter. The Vario ND filter as you can see it comes with a little hand right here to adjust it from one f-stop to five f-stop. The last one right here we have also a black mist filter one fourth. So as you can see I'm near a lake actually to try because actually obviously I have ND filter so I will try to make uh, ex long exposure and ultra long exposure photos. Uh, my plan actually was to go there, uh, as I saw in Google Maps, there were a lot of boats, but because maybe because it's winter, so I could find this small composition here. I will try to use the filters right here. So unfortunately, because I have here a small composition and a small corner, a small area, I decided that I am going to try with a 70 300 millimeter lens. My plan was with the 10-20 millimeter lens, but if I'm going to use it, I will have a lot of distractions, you know. That's why I decided to try with the 7300 millimeter lens, yeah, to have only a concentration of this composition, you know. And because of using the 7300 millimeter lens, I have to use an adapter. Because the 7300 millimeter lens is 58 and the filters are 77 millimeter. So that's why I'm going just to use my filter or my adapter to be able to use them on my 7300mm lens. It is a composition that I am trying to take here. I will put in the filters and try to see how it will look like if I took long exposure photography right here. So as you can see right here I have now the Vario ND filter 1 to 5 f-stop. You can easily use this hand to adjust it from one f-stop minimum. After that I have the two f-stop, three, four, five f-stop. So let's try to take the first photo with only five stop ND filter, but I will also try to take it with nine stop ND filter. I think the movement of the water and the clouds will be more beautiful with nine stop ND filter. This was the first photo using only 5-stop ND filter and I couldn't have more than one second. Uh, in spite of it's cloudy and it's so heavily overcast actually, I couldn't have more than one second. So that's why I'm going to try to put the 4-stop ND filter in front of the Vario ND filter. And I will show you how I'm going to do that. So as you can see right here, this is the 4-stop ND filter. And you can easily just take care to put this small hand, you know, in its right place, right here. And you can so easily just put it like that, as you can see right now. After adding the four stop ND filter, now I will be able to have five, six, seven, eight, 
9 ND filter at its maximum. So the first filter I will start from 1 to 5 and after adding the first stop ND filter I will start from 6 to 9. So that means you have from 1 to 9 you can choose anyone you want. So I will try to take the same photo now with 9 stop ND filter and I will see how much uh, you know shutter speed I need. So as you could see the last photo right here after using the both filters uh, the f-stop or the four f-stop and the vario from one to five f-stop i could have nine stop in the filter and that gave me in this weather in this condition gave me 10 seconds photo and actually the the the, the uh, difference between the five stop and the nine stop is uh, so so beautiful actually i i like the second one more than the first photo i like the second photo with the 10 seconds more than the photo with the one second obviously so the last thing i want to try right now because the kit there's also a, a one fourth black mist filter that's why I will try another composition. I will try to go down a little bit. And I think I will try horizontal composition right now. Both filters, again, both filters, but this time I'm going to use also the black mist filter with them. And I will show you, yeah, the final photo. Right here, I'm having the black mist filter. So I'm going again to put it so easily right here on the front glass so i have the vario nd filter the four stop nd filter and after that the black mist as you can see i have the three together i'm having again f16 10 seconds shutter speed This is actually a very bad example of showing the effect of the black mist filter because as I said in an, in an old video showing the effect of a black mist filter you have to have a very dominant light source in your photo like for example sun shining behind your subject or behind the, the leaves of the tree for example or in the night when you have the city lights so uh, visible in your photo then you will see the effect of, of the black mist filter this is all the photo that i made today trying the nisi swift vario and d filter i really i really like like the idea of having the ability to adjust the nd filter because when i when i use my 10 stop nd filter the problem is that when i am putting the nd filter i can't see anything here I see only black if I want to adjust the composition for example if I want to to be sure that the photo is in focus or the subject is in focus I have to take off the ND filter again but with this method with adjusting the ND filter I am I, I don't have to take it off I just adjust the ND filter I took it uh, I take it to five stop ND filter and I see everything here I adjust the the focus for example i adjust the composition after that i adjust it and I take it again to nine stop nd filter and that's why i think in my opinion this is the plus point of using vario nd filter it's so so helpful in situations like this but as i show you also i took photos without the nd filter and after that with the nd filter and i really couldn't find any loss in the quality in sharpness for example or in the color cast i tried a lot to find any difference in white balance or in color cast but it's perfect there's no difference at all so the last thing i want to talk about right now is that why there's adapter with the filter what i want to talk about is this adapter why 
you want or you need to use this adapter if you want to use this felt let's put it on this is the set of filters that I have and this one the first one the vario ND filter you can screw it on the lens you don't need this adapter if you want to use the vario ND filter as the first element on the lens because you can screw it easily on the lens let's say you want to use only the four stop ND filter and you want to use the black mist filter here you need the adapter as you can see the four stop ND filter and the black mist you can't screw them on the lens that's why you need this adapter and you can easily put the filter on it you don't have to screw it you can easily as you can see put the filter on it without this adapter you won't be able to use the black mist filter or the four stop ND filter this is the only reason of having the adapter so at the end thanks a lot for watching this video i hope i could make it helpful for you i hope you find this review clear and helpful and you could make your decision about yeah getting this filter and thanks a lot nisi for sending me this filter so now i am finished with them i will send them back and it's really so so helpful having a vario and defect and as i said it's so helpful to to make sure that the focus is correct the composition as you want without taking off your filter and put it again taking it off every time you are not sure about the focus and to put it again this is so helpful just to adjust the filter and to make sure everything is yeah is right and after that to adjust it again thanks again for watching please consider subscribing if you are not already and see you in the next video bye